Welcome to Mr. Taglish. Hello! Our topic for this video is about Mushroom Life Cycles and Spores There are over 3,000 species of mushroom throughout the world. It is a fungus, and unlike other plants, has no chlorophyll to help it manufacture food. The cap of the mushroom the part we typically eat is actually the fruiting part of the mushroom, and is vital to its reproduction process. The cap will last only a few days, but during that time it will create millions of spores. Spores are single cells, each capable of developing into a mushroom. Spores of mushrooms form on special hyphae on the surface of thin gills that form in a circle hanging on the underside of the cap. The cap has a curved shape poroharor, so that the rain droplets run off and the spores keep dry. Mushrooms must shed their spores fast as both mushrooms and spores often live for only a few days. If you pick a mushroom or other kind of fruit body, the feeding stage of the fungus usually keeps growing in the soil or wood but you will be stopping the mushroom spores from spreading to other places. The cells that produce spores on the fruiting body are either ashy or basidia. With ashy cells, spores are produced internally, and in the basidia they are produced externally. Spores are released when either the tip of the ashy breaks off or the spores break off from the basidia. After the spores are released, they are carried by the wind, and it is possible for them to land far from the parent mushroom. After the spores are released, the cup or fruiting part of the mushroom dies. The ashy cells are located on the internal surface of the cup fungi. When the ashy breaks open, the spores are released. Gilled mushrooms, bullets and puffballs all have basidia cells. In the gilled mushrooms, they are located on the bottom of the cup from which the spores are dropped. In the bullets, they are located in tubes contained in the flesh of the mushroom cup with pores that release the spores. In the puffball, they are located in the body of the cup and the spores release when the shell of the cup breaks open. For a spore to survive and grow into a new mushroom, it must land in an environment that is appropriate for mushroom cultivation. The soil should be damp and moist. Mushrooms thrive in areas that are grassy and wooded. After landing in such an environment, the spore will grow hair-like filaments that are called hypha. From the hyphae, the mushroom's mycelium will grow. This is the part of the mushroom that grows below the soil. From the mycelium, a stalk or stem will grow, and atop the stem will grow the fruiting cap. When the hypha of one spore meets with the hypha from another spore, a mating or germination process begins that results in the production of more spore. For more informational videos, please subscribe my channel Mr. Taglish, then click the notification bell. Thank you.